Both teams here tonight have managed to beat their first round opponents and battle it out tonight in the NCAA second round for a chance to move to the Sweet 16. What an accomplishment it would be for either of these clubs. the bucket to put up the first points in the game. Mike, the shooter overcomes a lot of obstacles on this one. They had him covered pretty well that time, and yet he still manages to make the shot. Valentine with the inbound pass. They go with a double team. Gets the pass off. Rasmussen has the ball up top. Shoots it. Dupree makes a nice assist on that bucket. Wren from outside. Wren hits the front iron but gets the roll. The Charlotte 49ers are in possession, Jay. What can you say about this club? Well, they've got a good inside game. They can really box out. Their front line can really punish you inside, and they really draw fouls and get to the free throw line with that great interior strength. They always have a very physical showing. Let's see if they can do it again tonight. Nelson can't bank it in. The defender did everything he could there. He contested the shot. He played it well and didn't foul, and his man missed. Inside shot. Good shot with the jumper there. And Coach Quick puts the ball in play. Two-point differential between these clubs. For the three. Jay, they drilled another three. Boy, they're hitting their three-point shots, Mike. I think the main thing is they're ready to shoot as the ball arrives. They don't have to get ready to shoot once they catch it. They're already ready when it gets there. There's the double team. Splits it with the pass. For two, Valentine misses on the jump shot. It's halftime. Our score, nine to four. And here are the first half's top performers. Too long to inbound the ball. Valentine with it out top. The Niners are having some tough times out there on the court tonight, Jay. Halfway through this game, they're trailing now starting the second half as they were for much of the first half. What sticks out in your mind? Well, Mike, this team did not perform on the offensive end. They were getting shots, just knocking them down. They have to continue to look for good shots and crash the offensive boards to try to get some easy opportunities. Their defense has been good. If they can continue to force turnovers and go the other way, get some easy baskets, they'll be just fine. But they really need to perform well this first five minutes of the second half. Holland drops it in. Valentine passes it in on the clock in minute 17. Dupree has it up top. There's no need for the rush shot there. The coach can't be happy about that one. Wren has two three-pointers, could get a third on this trip. for the three. The Charlotte 49ers will take a timeout there. With this amount of time on the clock, what do you want to do here, Jay? Well, Mike, I think this is a two-for-one situation. Let's see if their guards can recognize it and they can get a good shot in a hurry. Nelson answers with a three of his own. Here's a guy who's able to make a really smart play. He gets the ball inside, the defense collapses, and then he spots the open man on the perimeter and delivers a perfect pass. That's gorgeous. Quick, about 11 feet out, it's good. Nice exchange there for the offense. He cans the shot, and he's not known as a terrific shooter. 
Jay, this one's almost over. We just go through the motions from here on out. Well, it was a valiant effort, but this deficit was just too big to overcome. They just weren't able to pull it together and beat this team tonight. The Danes are up by eight with possession. What a pretty assist that was. And he's really racking up those assists right now. He's got a great awareness of where his teammates are on the floor. He's got eyes in the back of his head. He blew the inside shot and he was wide open. No excuses on that one. Valentin with a big time jam. The differential is eight. The inside shot. A lot of nice things going on in this play, Mike. And there's nothing more basic in basketball than a good pass. Boy, a beautiful feed and a nice jump shot to finish that. Howell with the inbound. Nelson up top with the ball. Dupree can't get the buzzer beater to fall. That's the end of the game. Your final score, 23 to 13. Holy cow, what a ball game. Let's go to the highlights. Let's have a look at today's Burger King players of the game. Thanks for watching our second round coverage of the NCAA tournament. We'll see you next time right here for more college basketball, the regional semifinals on the road to the Elite Eight. For Jay Billis, this is Mike Patrick. We'll see you as the NCAA playoffs continue.